Okay, we are recording. This is a uh, happy patient from Iowa, uh, an engineer by trade, which I always enjoy dealing with precise people. Uh, you are precise, I guess. Uh, an unusual situation, uh, bilateral midvitreous fibrillar clumps. And to explain that to a person who doesn't understand my lingo, they look like big cotton balls suspended in the middle of the vitreous gel and sort of suspended uh, in there by spider webs, you might say, that are like bungee cords. When you move your eye, it'll whip out of the line of sight, but it goes right back to the same place. So we started with your worst eye. And your problem was, tell, uh, explain, uh, well, first of all, I'll explain what, what the other doctors up north said. Yes, uh, I mentioned I had a sudden onset of floaters. I was two years ago, and uh, they were worried about uh, detachment and such of the retina. I had no flashing, and they said I would get used to the, uh, the floaters. They were significant, though. They really interrupted my uh, ability, my left eye, uh, to contribute, especially at night driving, distance vision. So... Uh, uh, I wasn't satisfied with it, so I you did start to investigate a little bit about that. What I am going to do right now is see if I can actually turn on this video while we're doing it. And this is your case. Uh, it was incredible. Uh, 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 what, what we have here is, uh, I probably should splice in what we've got, but it was really, really amazing stuff. Yeah, seeing it in the video was a, like a veil. Uh, yes. It's very much like what you described. Uh, and it was amazing. Uh, when looking at the video, especially shooting those strands and being able to pull that mm -hmm. mass uh, to the side so it's no longer in my central vision. It was uh, astounding. Um, Right, and did did the doctors offer vitrectomy to you at all? No, they did not, and I would have refused anyway, given how uh, invasive that is, and you're nearly guaranteed a cataract within a couple of years, and that's that was not a good option for me. Yeah, yeah, at your age, we would be guaranteed cataract uh, pretty much 100%. So so we did, uh, what, three laser sessions on each eye? Uh, Something three, like that? On the oh, right form. Here we go. Here's our... Yeah. This... This is a fibrillar mass. It looks like a giant cotton ball sitting in the center of the eye. And if you can't see behind it, you can't see through it. And there's the little suspending strands. And uh, we're using a, a little tiny bit of laser energy to cut spider webs. <laughs> and I guess that's what we are. Spider webs, water, and a few little cells that actually are self-aware. But uh, we did this several times. We got that out of the visual axis. Uh, in your case, I elected to leave some of it in the periphery because we don't want that to cause any reaggregation. But your your reading was disabled before, right? And driving. Oh, indeed. It, reading and uh, just a month ago, uh, same onset of very sudden onset of floaters in my right eye. Mm -hmm. And since I've stopped driving at night, uh, my. Uh, death perception and night vision was severely impacted. And, and that certainly spoils your young wild lifestyle. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> and it's uh, astounding now to, uh, and I noticed it first uh, in low light and went back to the hotel and was able, I had good low light contrast vision again. And okay. then uh, I'm an avid reader and it was so much easier now to read without having to jog my eyes around to get the floater out of the way. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, I still have floaters, but they are not in the uh, central axis of my vision. Right. And that is, that is, that will and has made all the difference here. So, right. No, I'm right. very grateful for the skill set that Dr. <laughs> Geller has. Uh, it's not an empty flattery. I, yeah, I, I, I know, and I, I enjoy doing this. It's like a... It uh, makes me sad, too, that there's only a handful of others that uh, do this, um, it, given the low risk and the tremendous outcome. Uh, potential here. It's, right. That's astounding and, to me. And, and sometimes it's hard to convince somebody uh, who's a physician and extremely scientific minded that the patient is not having some placebo effect and how do we measure this. But the bottom line is we've been doing this for 20 years. Ask the patient. Patient selection is really critical and understanding the uh, where you're going to get with it 
uh, determines the level of success, obviously. I'm very much looking forward to going back and uh, uh, sharing this with my doctor at home for a follow-up checkup and such. Uh, Absolutely. It's, it's really astounding. All righty. Well, thank you so much, and you, good luck. And it's January 2015.